A week after Parliament suspended the 16% levy on petroleum by a further two years, outrage continues to grow over the government's decision to implement the tax. While meeting in Mombasa on Monday, the National Assembly's Budget and Appropriations Committee admitted that it could not offer any immediate relief to the public as the finance bill awaits presidential assent. Our committee cannot be deliberating on an issue that the House has already made a decision on. That decision is to be communicated to His Excellency the President by submission of the bill. The committee, led by a Kikuyu member of Parliament, Kimani Ishungwa, says they can only wait for the President's decision after Parliament passed the Finance Bill 2018, urging Kenyans to exercise patience. Uh, therefore, uh, and we are not saying that the Finance Committee is to blame. Uh, the, we're just saying that taxation matters, revenue raising measures are measures that are planned by the Finance Committee, who were the owners of the Finance Bill. But as Kenyans await the decision, the Orange Democratic Movement is accusing the Energy Regulatory Commission of disobeying court orders. As a lawyer, I will tell you that it is the responsibility of every single citizen, once you become aware of a court order, to first respect that court order. Uh, uh, the matter of uh, the order having been issued is a matter that is in the public domain. So I am aware that the ERC officers are aware by virtue of the fact that this is a matter that is in the public domain. ODM Secretary General Edwin Sefuna says the party will not stand on the fringes as Kenyans continue to feel the pinch. It is a position of a party that uh, uh, Kenyans cannot uh, bear the burden of this tax uh, anymore or any further. And uh, in addition to the suspension that was passed by the House, we will be in a position to back uh, the scrapping of the tax altogether. Over the last few days, Kenyans have expressed their frustrations over the hiked fuel prices, demanding that the government expedite efforts to bring some relief at the pump. For Channel 1 News, I am Edward Cabaza.